Hey, yo, everyone, Andrew here, bringing you another video, and uh, we're going to talk about a fun, controversial issue that's going around the fandom, and uh, that is going to be of none other than Big Blue himself, Superman. Um, in particular, we're going to be talking about uh, the new Superman movie series that is going to be coming out. In which Warner Brothers in DC is stating that they're looking to cast a person of color as Superman. So then the question then arises, is this going to be uh, Clark Kent as a person of color? Or is it going to be one of the various different other Supermen uh, from you know different worlds and else world stories uh, that were uh, either a person of color or basically just black Superman? Um, because this is just such a hotly contested issue. I figured I'd weigh in, give you guys some of the pros of what could happen with this change to the character, uh, some of the cons that could happen with this change to the character, and ultimately what I think I would do when it came down to tackling this topic and issue. So let's just jump into it and let's, let's talk about some of the pros, okay? So what are some of the good things that could come from this? Well, DC's basically tried a new initiative in which they are going to be telling their own self-contained stories. Some of these stories are going to be on separate Earths, not necessarily connected with the quote-unquote DCEU, right? Like, the new Robert Pattinson's Batman movie is going to be basically an Elseworld story on Earth 2, for lack of a better term. This gives us the opportunity to tell a story with one of two... Superman, who were characters of colors, people of color, uh, basically black Superman, and that would be of President Superman and Val Zod from the recent Earth 2 and Earth 2 Society and World of Earth 2 and all the Earth 2 stuff. Um, and both these characters are relatively new characters in the grand scheme of comics, um, and while they have had stories on them, uh, these stories haven't really delved that deep, especially with President Superman, um, although I think he's the more popular of the two characters, uh, he's probably the one with the least amount of uh, depth or history to him. We know some basic stuff of him, but that's just about it. Most of his adventures are with him in uh, the Justice League from multiple universes, which I think it's a Justice League incarnate, I believe. Um, and then we get to see a uh, possibility of having Val Zod around, who is a, a little bit more flushed out of a character who picked up the mantle Superman on Earth 2. And this would actually be a good chance for us to correct a couple things with Val Zod, because um, Earth 2 really fell apart around the time Val Zod came along, and it wasn't Val Zod's fault, actually. I, I would attribute that more to the writing of Earth 2 and just overall the comic not doing good. Val Zod was actually, of the two Supermen that could be up on um, for question, President Superman or Val Zod, I would actually like to see Val Zod. Um, maybe I would like to see him more. I like him better as a character, although there's a lot of potential with President Superman, of course. Um, but when it comes down to it, um, there, there would be a good chance to tell a story for this character, have it tied to the original Superman, and, and have it be unique and good. And tell a Superman story that hasn't been told. So I think there's a tremendous amount of potential for there to be Elseworld stories with a Superman of a person of color, and to tell these unique stories. Because if you're going to tell Val Zod's story, it's going to be connected to the original Superman, it's going to be a unique origin. Same thing with President Superman. And it doesn't necessarily have to be these two characters. If you want to create a completely new Elseworld Superman, you can. 100%. Again, the potential is there and the ability to write these unique stories are there too. And that's something that, you know, movies, whether it's DC or Marvel, really need. And they really need it bad because it's starting to get very formulaic and, and status quo with this stuff. But that's not to say that this is a perfect idea. There's going to be bad to this too. So let me tell you what those are. So there's pretty much three things I think could go wrong by doing this. First is the obvious one, right? Henry Cavill, who's been knocking out of the ballpark as Superman, right? You can say what you want about the movies he's been in, Justice League, Man of Steel, BVS, but him as Superman, he's been he's been crushing it. And now we're we're possibly not going to get any more of him. Who, who knows? But I mean, I think that I think that's just shitty. Especially, I think the, the news was released on his birthday, which is even shittier. 
the the next thing is is that you know you're you're race swapping a character that's been predominantly white and it's for the purposes of having diversity and inclusion which there's nothing wrong with diversity and inclusion but i don't think this is the right way of going about it right there has been so many characters of different race different ethnicities uh different color that could have been used instead of just swapping superman's uh ethnicity right if this is going to be black carl uh black clark um i think the uh i think it basically says that water brother doesn't have confidence in their standard black superheroes so instead let's take something that we believe is tried and true which was originally a white character and turn them black and again this this is something that's very disingenuous in my opinion right um and i think there's a, a several characters that they could have done that are black characters that it's just a disservice that they haven't been done so what i'm going to do is i'm going to give you what i would have done and i'm going to list several characters that dc has that are black uh, or people of color that could have easily got in a movie and well deserved and would have killed it the first one's super easy i mean you got icon icon is basically black superman it's from the milestone universe and um not only can you get the character but you'll also get the universe with him and all the supporting characters and other heroes that come with it but not just that he has a cool interesting backstory um and he's got a great design and yeah basically why would you need to race swap superman when you already have a great character here that you could use you got vixen vixen i would love to see a vixen movie or at least see her in a movie uh vixen is a badass character who has a really cool power the power to draw upon animal spirits and utilize them um, in various different ways uh, and you can tell a really good story with vixen and it can either be a solo story or you can have her be part of a new justice league team either way right great character design badass why not uh, one of the most popular black characters from dc comics is uh, static shock who is also a milestone character uh static has a huge following behind him and it's a damn shame because since the new 52 he's he's just been done dirty really since he's been at dc he's been done dirty i really like to see this character come back full force and a, a movie being done with him and not just that he has a great origin story uh that is very malleable and just a great character design look at that suit and then we jump on to probably one of the most well-known uh, Green Lanterns, and probably one of the most well-known in media outside the comics is John Stewart. John Stewart is a fantastic uh, Green Lantern. He's like my second favorite Green Lantern next to Hal. I, I do like Hal a little bit more, but if anyone was going to take the place, it's going to be John. Uh, his unique history in the military and, and his ability to make his constructs as an architect, um, and just he's probably the best leader of the Green Lanterns. Do it. And what about Cyborg? Shit. <laughs> Cyborg got done dirty. Uh, I know Ray Fisher's kind of in a nebulous place with DC Comics, but, like, we were promised a Cyborg film. Cyborg has been one of the most popular and predominant black characters in DC Comics, um, and he ties into everything. Ties into Justice League, he can tie into the Titans. You can, you can spin off, and you can have Starfire and Raven show up in his movie, but he's just a great character who's not being utilized. One of the newer characters that have come out in the past few years is uh, Duke Thompson, uh, Signal from Batman. He would be a really cool story to tell, not only because he's a great character that ties into the Joker, but he only operates during the daytime, so he has to solve mysteries that Batman can't, and Batman's busy doing stuff at night. It would be a really cool dichotomy between the two, and a character that has really right now limitless potential for on screen, and he has a recognizable brand. And then, why have we not talked about doing a Black Lightning one? We have a Black Lightning TV show, and admittedly, I don't know how well it's doing in the ratings. Maybe it's doing fantastic, maybe it's flopping. But whatever the case may be, Black Lightning's a fantastic superhero with an amazing set of characters to work with. And, if you don't want to do a solo Black Lightning film, you do the motherfucking Outsiders. This guy can work in anything. Teens, 
Solo, he's a great character. And then here's kind of the oddball or the, the curveball that I'm going to throw you. But, you know, Bronze Tiger, without a doubt, one of Batman's greatest frenemies slash rivals. You can tell a really good action-packed martial arts slash assassin film with Bronze Tiger. He's badass. He has a cool costume. This is the new 52 one. I couldn't get one of the original. But, like, he again, a character that you could just be pushing... And instead, you're not. In conclusion, at the end of the day, there's a way that you can do this where everyone gets what they want. If WB wants inclusion, or if WB wants uh, to have a person of color be in their next superhero film, then go for it, right? I just gave you seven or eight black superheroes who have a huge fan base and limitless potential for stories. And you can do one of those instead of just race swapping Clark Kent. Or you can choose one of the two already established black supermen and have their story being told as Elseworld while Henry Cavill keeps his job and we still get him as a great Superman actor. WB, just don't fall into the pitfalls, right? You have so many tools at your disposal. Utilize it. It's a slap in the face to Jon Stewart, to Icon, to Static, to Vixen, to Cyborg when you choose to race swap another superhero instead of using them. So that's my two cents on this.